When Nokia announced the 6.1 Plus, it didn't take more than few seconds to become the dream budget phone of many. Well, of course, it deserves to be the one. Nokia played extremely fine to make this phone the apple of everyone's eye. But if you're planning to buy this phone or you already have this phone, I have something of your business. Nokia managed to save its money by not only not including the case in the box, but also hiding some of the phone's feature from the users. The features which would unlock the full potential of this beast and which would help you for sure. Let's begin. I'm pretty sure you people know the specification of this phone already, including RAM, connectivity, size, storage, audio, etc. But one specification which caught my eye was Snapdragon 636 processor. I'll tell you why. I checked the output charging current of this bundle 10W charger 5V 2A and found out it gave around 800mAh of current. Well, that seemed a 2010 thing to me. Then I did some research and found out that Nokia has given a hidden feature in their phone which would restrict the current and charge the phone slowly if the screen is on. This was meant to prevent overheating. And then I decided to try the screen off charging current and surprisingly it was almost around 2000 mAh. But uh, theoretically speaking, it would take around 1.5 hours to charge the phone from 0 to 100. Theoretically speaking, well that's fast but not as fast as the beast can go. I went to HMD Global's Nokia 6.1 Plus page and saw that they say it supports fast charging with 5V 2A 10W charger. I did some more research and found out that Snapdragon 636 actually supports Quick Charge 4. I don't know why Nokia hid this from us, maybe if they would tell, they would have to include the Quick Charge 4 charger. I decided to check the voltage of Quick Charge 4 charger and found that the Quick Charge 4 works on same voltage as Quick Charge 3 that is 18W by 9V and 2A charger. I thought I should give it a try. Unfortunately, I could not find any certified Quick Charge 4 charger so I decided to buy the MI 18W charger. It will cost you around 499 Indian rupees and the good thing is it also comes with 6 months limited warranty. Boom, here it is, 499 rupees written with delivery charges and here is the box. The box was quite sleek and here it is written quick charge 3.0 supported. So let's unbox it, where's my blade, okay here I got my blade, mm, yes. And here is the charger, it looks quite similar with the box charger which came with our phone. The only difference is it supports quick charge 3, and no, it doesn't. And here are some unnecessary things we don't need. You can see written 9 volt 2 ampere in between. So I decided to check the screen on current first and found that it was similar to the normal charger around 800 to 1000 milliamp, and that was okay because of the Nokia feature which we talked about earlier. And now I decided to check the screen off current and I was literally shocked to know that the charging current went up to 3000 mAh. By this rate, our battery will only need around 1 hour to charge from 0 to 100, that is fully, theoretically. Now let's drain the battery. And let me tell you one more thing, that the Nokia disabled the OEM unlocking from the August update. That means, if you want to unlock your bootloader, do not update to August patch or else you will not be able to unlock your bootloader ever. And they don't support official bootloader unlocking as well, so you will have to go for unofficial method unofficial paid methods now here is the battery at zero zero now five minutes have passed at five which was five percent at ten the battery was 13 similarly i did for up to 100 minutes you can see here now for 20 minutes the battery was 32 the gradient was increasing now see 
फाइव दैन सेवन डिफरेंस दैन टेन डिफरेंस एंड अगेन सेवन द डिफरेंस वॉज एट आई रिकॉर्डेड ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी ऑब्जर्वेश एंड फाउंड आउट द बैटरी गॉट फुल एट अराउंड वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी मिनट्स वेल आई वॉज टेलिंग यू इट विल चार्ज इन सिक्सटी मिनट्स दैन वॉट इज वन हंड्रेड थर्टी मिनट्स है well let me explain you something which is very important to understand about fast charging i tried the same procedure with the box charger but only up to 50% let's see how fast it is for 5 minutes the phone was charged up to 5 that was same as the quick charge but as you can see the difference increased as the time increased the battery was charging slowly then the quick charge for and you can clearly see that it took around 40 minutes to charge up to 50% let me plot these on a graph that will explain you better so here's the chart guys with time at x axis and battery plotted at y line in pink represents the normal charger and the line in orange represents the 18 watt quick charge 3.0 supported charger See I was talking about the quick juice you can clearly see here that the slope of the orange line is greater than the pink one the battery gets fully charged around 113 minutes around 2 hours at 100% but the slope you can see at the end is very very low but at the beginning only at 40 minutes the phone was charged up to 62% with the quick charge 3 charger and with the double charger it was only charged to 49% for the full charge of uh, the double charger 10 volt charger you guys can note it down by yourself as you 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 must be having that and for the full charge time of the 10 volt charger you guys can see your battery state or something i'm sure it takes about uh, more than 2 hours or around 3 hours to charge it fully with this method but if you want to use it for day and just you don't have time you can just charge it for uh, like 40 minutes or 30 minutes half of the battery will be full and i think it's enough if you just want to call and message and some of the inter internet browsing as well theoretical calculations are different from actual charging because the charging line is not linear in real life it's actually exponential that means as the battery percent will increase the charging rate will decrease In 5 minutes of beginning your phone can charge up to 10% per 5 minutes but in the last stage it will charge maybe 1% per minute or so quick charging gave around 80% of juice in 60 minutes that's quite faster than the normal so called quick charger and the Snapdragon 636 already supports quick charging i don't think so it can damage your battery but just try to be cautious and use certified quick charger you can find the list on Qualcomm's website all links are in description don't forget to check it So guys that's pretty much it don't forget to like and subscribe for more enlightening videos and if you wish ring my bells ring my bells <laughs> for notifications of new videos tell me in the comment section about the topics you want me to research on or make videos and be excited for the giveaway i'll let you know soon bye bye